If you're interested in space and technology, don't enjoy sleeping much and would prefer to spend the entire night observing the night sky, then you've probably considered starting with the hobby of astrophotography. If so, then this video is right for you. In this video I would like to introduce you to the hobby of astrophotography. I want to show you what astrophotography is all about and what we astrophotographers actually capture. Furthermore, I would like to show you that astrophotography doesn't have to be expensive. A lot of people think that astrophotography is very expensive and it's not affordable, but still astrophotography could be done on an affordable way. In this video, I would like to show you how you can do astrophotography on an affordable way, as we'll see later in this video. First, I want to start with what astrophotography actually is. In astrophotography, the focus is on photographing objects in the night sky. We astrophotographers don't just photograph any objects a few kilometers away, we photograph objects millions of light years away. Quite impressive, isn't it? In general, it can be said that there is a wide variety of objects that astrophotographers photograph. I always divide these objects into two groups, the objects in the solar system and the objects outside the solar system. Objects within the solar system include, for example, the moon, the sun, and of course planets. The part I personally find a bit more interesting and I have specialized in are the objects outside the solar system, also known as deep sky objects. These include, for example, star clusters, galaxies, or nebulae. Many people think of huge telescopes that cost thousands of euros and a hobby that is almost not affordable when they think of astrophotography. Personally, I can say that astrophotography can also be done much cheaper and still you can achieve very good results. For example, you can take great pictures with just a lens, a camera and a tripod. I used this combination to photograph the Orion Nebula and was able to achieve great results. What I find exciting about this hobby is that you photograph objects that are not visible to the naked eye. To make these objects visible, we use very long exposure times. This image, for example, has an exposure time of less than a second. For objects such as galaxies and nebula, we gather several hours of exposure time. For example, I collected about 3 hours of exposure time for this image of M27. This shows how dark these objects are. However, there are also galaxies that are much brighter, such as the Andromeda galaxy, for example. This can already be observed with the naked eye in a location with less light pollution during a new moon phase. Since the Earth rotates, it's difficult to capture a single exposure of about 3 hours. For this reason, astrophotographers use much shorter exposure times. To combine these images with an exposure time of usually up to 5 minutes, astrophotographers use a process called stacking. Stacking means combining and layering multiple images. This allows the individual frames with a short exposure time to be combined to achieve a total exposure time of a few hours. I always find it very impressive what one can achieve in this hobby. You photograph objects that are sometimes not visible to us humans and sometimes are a million of light years away from Earth. This motivates me to stay up all night and photograph these impressive objects. I hope I could give you an insight into the hobby of astrophotography. If you have any further questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments. If you would like to know more about how to do astrophotography with just a lens, a camera and a tripod, feel free to watch this video. If I was able to help you, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and until next time.